You're very welcome back. Now our next guest has written music with the likes of Diane Warren, Billy Steinberg and Stephen Laroni and has toured with Elton John and James Blunt. She is nominated for two Meteor Awards, Best Irish Female and Best Irish Pop Act. Singer and songwriter Luanne Parle is uh, also about to release her fourth single, Free, and she's here to tell us more. Good morning, Luanne. Hello, Good morning. Uh, congratulations on the nominations for Thank you. the Meteor. It's been interesting watching you because we've kind of almost watched you grow up. Yeah. Uh, I remember seeing you on the Late Late when you were about 12 or 13, I think. Yes, yeah. And you, you were on with us, I think, in our first year or two, so you would have been still in school at the time. Yeah. So you've been at this now for the best part of what? Nearly, what, 14 years? Probably, yeah. I mean, I'd say I've been doing this since I was a kid because I've been playing in bands all my life. And I mean, I, I always wanted to make it my career. So, yeah, but you're a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Still just a slip of a thing. Really well. But when you were your first album, you could have gone, you know, hell for leather into it. You could have gone straight to Nashville mm -hmm. and really, but your parents were very mm. determined that you were going to get your education and get your schooling. Yeah. Looking back on that now, was that a real kind of turning point one way or the other for your career? Mm. Well, I mean, either way, it could have gone either way. I mean, who's to say it would have been a success? or not, you know, so... Um, Do you ever think what if? No, no, I used to. I mean, obviously, when I was a kid and it was all happening at the time, you know... And you were desperate to go and do it. Yeah, I thought, yeah, this is thought... terrible, <laughs> you know, I have to go. And how old were you then? Twelve. Twelve. I had recorded an album. I think your parents made the right yeah, call. Yeah, I think so. I had just recorded an album and I'd been doing a bit of touring with it. I had a band. So and... you're twelve and you'd recorded an album yeah. and you were touring. <laughs> so I had been working quite hard as well, so... um. I mean, to a 12-year-old, when you say America, you think, oh, you know, oh, my God, I have to go there. So, but I'm delighted the way it's all turned out. Now, about five or six years ago, you met a man called Derek McKillop. Yes, yes. Yeah. Who, uh, who I remember from the old days because he used to manage uh, one of my favourite bands, Lloyd Cole yeah. and the Commotions. And uh, he n knew a guy called uh, Steve Laroni, who mm -hmm. was involved, he's, who, again, is you know, the Scotsman. He worked with Altered Images. Altered Images, yeah. So he, he thought that, um, that it would be a good idea if you all got together. So that, yeah. that relationship has progressed now over yes. these few years. Of which is the album now, Free, which is out at the minute. And Steve Laroni did that for you, did he? Produce Steve Laroni produced it, yeah. And Derek McKillop now manages you. Manages me. And he also manages James Blunt and Elton John. Mm -hmm. So that's a very, very um, um, auspicious stable to be part mm. of, isn't it? Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually got to tour with Elton John and James yeah, Blunt. Yeah. Quite an experience, I'd imagine. Mm. Elton John, great. though. Like, J James Blunt, okay, I'm sure he's very. But he's a, Elton, he's a yeah, legend. He's a legend. You know, yeah. And a lovely, lovely guy. And it was fab. And I'd met Elton a couple of times before that at the Christmas parties, the annual um, management Christmas dues. Mm. So, um, so he, and he was always very nice. So it and was had great he heard then. your stuff? Was he familiar with your music? Yeah, yeah. And uh, then when he was doing some shows, he said, he asked me what I'd like to do. Then. There's a question for you, Luan. If, um, you know, you are primarily, you're a musician, you're a singer, and yeah. you're a songwriter, and you meet somebody like Elton John, who, let's face it, has this huge, you know, image and baggage yeah. and all the rest of it. But when you get past the glitz and the big show, he is essentially a singer-songwriter. He's Absolutely. a very gifted mm -hmm. musician. Uh -huh. So when you sit down with him, do you kind of go, El Elton, like, how do you approach a song? Or um, do, you, do you look for tips We never actually spoke of... like that, no. Um, but that would have been good. <laughs> why not? If you get if yeah. you get five minutes with somebody like him, why not pick his brains? Yeah, true. But you know, in the kind of situations where I was talking to him, it was you know, maybe it wasn't the time to kind of sit down and talk about work, you know, Christmas parties and things like that. So, just just small small talk only. Yeah. <laughs> also, what you did do I discuss tiaras, and <laughs> frocks, what's this? Where you got each other's shoes. <laughs> so, how are you feeling about the meteor award oh, nominations? I'm thrilled. Really? Oh, with the moon, yeah. Couldn't believe it. That's so you all set for Thursday night. I'm all set. Yeah, I have my outfit and everything. What are you wearing? <laughs> or can you not reveal? I won't say. Okay. <laughs> so keep it as a surprise. But it must I'll be incredibly surprised. exciting. I mean, there's some big people in there, big names. You've got, you got yeah. Moir Brennan, mm. you've, got, you've got loads of people up there. Yeah, the competition's really tough, um, but I'm just delighted to be nominated. So, um, and then there was the third one, the Hope for 2007, which was I was thrilled to hear about. So, um, so there's actually three. <laughs> three? Yeah. Good woman. So, um, but I mean, who knows? Um, I'm just delighted to be nominated and just to be there. Your, your future will more than likely be in America, won't mm. it, because of the style of things you do. You are effectively a, a sort of a contemporary country singer. Yeah, it's country rock, really, I would describe it. Maybe country rock, pop, folk. I don't mm. know, it's a little bit of everything in there. But um, the show, actually, the live show is more probably rock mm. than anything. Um, so, what, I, I mean, pe people will always look for Pigeon Holly, what are you talking mm. Cheryl Crow, Shelby Lynn, that kind of area. Yeah, um... You've been called a young Stevie Nicks, haven't you? Yeah, which yeah. is amazing. So Great maybe compliment, a, yeah. <laughs> so maybe a cross between um, Cheryl Crow and Fleetwood Mac, that type of sound. Mm. So country rock, really, I would 
if America is your is your is your marketplace, or you think mm -hmm. that's maybe where your best shot at it would be, that effectively means you're going to have to move there uh, yeah. or spend an awful lot of time there. Does that? No, not at all, not at all. I mean, um, I'm a real homebird anyway. But I mean, I've travelled a lot now. I spent a lot of time working in America with Bill Betrell, so I got used to it. Um, and I'm used to the travelling about and that. So I mean, I think Ireland would always be my home, my base. Mm. But I mean, I love to travel a bit. It is a anyway. different level of, of professionalism and talent that you're working with as well over there, isn't it? I mean. Yeah, well, Bill Betrell is great. I mean, Bill Betrell worked with Charles Crow and Shelby yeah. Lynn and, um, and Stevie Nicks, actually. Um, ah. Yeah. <laughs> well, is there any time for love in all of this? Oh, I have Romance. a boyfriend. Have a boyfriend. It, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I'm just interested. Want to tell us who he is? No? <laughs> I don't want to pry too far. <laughs> this from a former Sun journalist. <laughs> Yeah, former. Right, yeah. Former. Okay, listen, will you give us a. Um, now, oh, yeah, I do. Um, do you know what are you going to sing on the night or are you performing? I'm not performing actually, You're not performing, no. Okay, well, no, what are you so going to do the latest single for us? Sit Joy. So I'm going to do Free, which is the title track of the album. And this and is the fourth is single from it, isn't it? New single out at the minute, yeah. Okay. Well, it will be out, I think it's it's at radio at the minute. Okay. I just mentioned as well, actually, um, I'm in the Crawdaddy on the 16th of February. Okay. So. Awesome. Good stuff. Luanne Pearl and Jesus. Free. chance to win a million. 1-800-900-500.